they fly like the wind. But can kites be used to gather electricity from it? There are a number of companies experimenting with this idea. It requires huge kites that fly high enough to catch the steady winds in our atmosphere and then transfer that energy back to Earth. There are concerns about the amount of maintenance they'd need, the threat they could pose if they crash, and what would happen in bad weather. But if everything goes right... Some of the world's strongest winds are found here, out on the ocean where water is too deep for most offshore wind turbines. But a company called Makani believes it has a solution, with a new wind technology inspired by a familiar child's toy, the kite. To me, it almost looks like an airplane. What makes it a kite? You know, when you fly a kite in the park, uh, it's being lifted by the wind and you're holding on to it with a tether. And so our kite is the same way. Once airborne, Makani's 85 foot long energy kite flies around autonomously, guided by computers. Crosswinds spin eight rotors producing electricity that's sent back to the ground through a tether. And its carbon fiber frame makes the kite extremely lightweight. Our energy kites are so lightweight, we can install them in deep water on floating platforms. And that means they can capture winds much further offshore, where other turbines can't. Last month in Norway, Makani successfully completed its first deep water offshore flight, but their kites won't be ready for market for several years. If your system is widely adopted, what kind of impact do you think it could potentially make? There are many areas around the world that really don't have a good resource for renewable power, but do have offshore wind resource. And so our lightweight kites create the possibility that we could tap that resource very economically and bring renewable power to hundreds of millions of people.